and welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Let's Play here. We're at the Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for the running of the Subway 400. Jeff Gordon is the favorite for this race and at the Rock. He's trying to go for three wins in a row. Can he do it today? Let's find out as we get things underway. We're in Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for today's race, the Subway 400. Drivers say this place can be one difficult track to master. Well, this track is deceiving to drivers who are new here. It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. It always seems that Ryan Newman is starting up near the front of the pack. With nine front row starts in 2002, he's always a threat to get the pole. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has some real good friends on the Winston Cup circuit, for now. A driver's attitude towards you can drastically change how he races you. And when a driver gets along well with you, just makes things a whole lot easier when you come across them on the racetrack. Ken Schrader has not had the success he would like lately in the Winston Cup series. And I just can't explain it. He'll race and he'll win in almost everything that has wheels on it, but I'm sure he still has a few Winston Cup wins coming his way. We thank and salute our soldiers for our freedom. And we say thank you for your sacrifice. The engines are fired and we're ready for racing. With Jeff Gordon on the pole, trying to go for three in a row at Rockingham, but with Kurt Busch next to him, who's still yet to get a win. Let's check the starting field presented by EA Sports. It's in the game. Look at the starting lineup. Starting out front are Leopold Chevrolet and the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. Starting in row two will be the Motorcraft Ford and the Pfizer Ford. In row three are the Sitco Ford and the Singular Wireless Chevrolet. In row four are the Altel Dodge and the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. Rounding out the top ten starting spots are the Caterpillar Dodge and the Sterling Marlin Dodge. The sixth row has the Lowe Chevrolet and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will start towards the front. Alongside Jamie McMurray, a rookie. In the eighth row are the DeWalt Power Tools Ford and the UAW Delphi Chevrolet. In the ninth row, we have the Stacker 2 Dodge and the Valvoline Pontiac. In the tenth row are the UPS Ford and the Kodak Max Film Pontiac. Starting the race from row 11 are the Interstate Battery Chevrolet and the Napa Auto Part Chevrolet. The twelfth row has the Granger Ford and the Target Dodge. Row 12, Greg Biffle and Casey Mears, a pair of rookies. Starting the race from row 13 will be the M&M's Ford and the O2 car. In row 14, we have the Hooters Ford and the Team Rusty Dodge. Starting from row 15 will be the 27 car and the Bam Racing Dodge. Sixteenth row are the Cheerios Dodge and the Otoban Ford. In the seventeenth row are the America Online Chevrolet and the Pennzoil Chevrolet. In the eighteenth row are the Home Depot Chevrolet and the Georgia Pacific Dodge. Tony Stewart started way deep in the field. So he made up a lot of spots in the season right now. Jack Spring, another rookie. The 20th row has the U.S. Army Pontiac and the Tide Pontiac. Starting the race from row 21 will be the Dodge Dealer's UAW Dodge and the 57 car. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the Dr. Pepper Dodge. It's time to get things underway. Green flag is out, and we're on at the rock. Oh, 
God. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, Sterling. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Lord, turn me up in the running. Darn it. Lord, just turn me straight into the fence. Excuse me, Red. Pardon me. Come on, turn. Oh, darn it. Everybody's just mean. Martin on the move on Jeff Gordon for the lead. And here comes Earnhardt Jr. already closing in. All three wide, but Martin will lead that lap. I think Gordon led the first lap already. Jr. and Martin are side by side for the top spot. Oh, Martin just bounced off the wall. Here comes Gordon for second on Martin. Junior will get another five bonus points. Oh, bounced off a wall. Here comes Gordon for the lead. He's down to the inside. Jeff, don't stop right in front of me. Laps are winding down. Ten to go at the rock. Here comes Newman down on the inside. Nine laps to go for Jeff Gordon for his third Rockingham win in a row. this time. Oh, oh, Newman just put me into the wall. Seven laps to go. Gordon continues to dominate over Dale Earnhardt Jr.
five laps to go. Gordon and Earnhardt Jr. are the top two right now, while Burden and Bush are closing in. Gordon trying to hang on for three Rockingham wins in a row. Four more laps for Gordon as he continues to dominate over Dale Earnhardt Jr. With Burden, Bush, and Newman falling behind of the two Chevrolets. So two Chevys, two Fords, and a Dodge. Juniors trying to... Try to go easy on the drivers. Try not to mess himself up. Try not to hurt anybody's feelings out there. Junior already won earlier this year in this Let's Play in the Daytona 500. Gordon trying to become the second ever winner. Two to go for Jeff Gordon. Jeff Burton is 2.2 seconds back of the leaders. And now, the leader is coming around for the white flag, signifying the final lap of the event. All right, last lap at the rock for Jeff Gordon to hold off Junior for the win. Will Junior have one last shot? Junior's going to run out of time. Jeff Gordon wins three in a row at the Rock. By one thousandths of a set, by point one zero one seconds. Was run in the whole race. You know, that's pretty amazing. It says a lot about the quality and true talent. Jeff Gordon wins three races in a row at the Rock. As the beginnings of a rocket. Burden, Bush, Newman, Martin, Ward Burden, Harvick, Rudd, and Rookie McMurray rounding out the top ten. Johnson back finished thirteenth. Stewart from 35th to 22nd. So Jeff Gordon's very happy with his first win of the season. Push to second, Harvick third. Gordon moves up to 6th in the points. Rookie McMurray is 8th. Rudd ninth. Kenseth rounding up the top 10. Stewart third, dropped to 13. Johnson 16th in the points. See you next time at Las Vegas Motor Speedway.